Um, okay. Uh, when good code goes bad, there when, is. Uh, uh oh. There is another really, really important programming concept you will need to learn as well, and that is the fact that it's okay to make mistakes in your code. Right. You will make mistakes in your code. We will make mistakes in our code today and tomorrow. Promise. Yes. Um, so don't panic. Sometimes people, when they're writing code, they, they're like, oh, it's not working. I'm a terrible coder. No, no, you've just made a mistake, just like the rest <laughs> of us do. You know, when I'm trying to learn another language, again, spoken language versus, yep. uh, unspo you know, versus a programming language. I was going to say unspoken language doesn't sound quite right. And, you know, I try to say something in German. Ich habe einen Schneeball auf meinem Kopf, which it means I have a snowball on my head, useful phrase. Um, I'm like pronouncing Lambert that. Flambe. Yeah, I'm sure anyone out there who speaks German just cringed at my pronunciation. Um, and but I can't learn if I don't practice. And yep. in, when I practice, yes, I'm going to mispronounce some words. Yes, I'm going to misconjugate some verbs. When I'm speaking in French, I'm going to get my masculine, feminine mixed up. Uh, those kinds of issues. That was always the, the thing that threw me. No, it's yeah. the verbs in French. They're, oh, okay. Verbs in French are brutal. <laughs> uh, I, I am from Canada. I am actually, je suis bilingue. Je peux parler en français si c'est nécessaire. Um, so I can speak French. I've spent a lot of time with my becherelle. Anyone who's learned French knows what a becherelle is. <laughs> um, but it's okay to make mistakes. Don't stress out over it. In fact, you know, it's quite funny. Sometimes when I make a mistake in my code, it might be two lines of code and I can't figure it out. If you get really stuck, walk away and come back. Uh, retype the line, yep. or if you have a friend nearby, it's amazing how often if you look at someone else's code, you can see their mistake, and if they look at your code, they can see your mistake. Uh, you know, it's the it's, weirdest thing. It's one of those things that you know when you're focused in on a problem, you just get you know tunnel vision, yeah. and and you keep thinking, well, it's got to be here, and having that fresh set of eyes can can be extremely helpful. That one of the things that would happen quite frequently when when I was in the classroom, and, and the same happened to you, um, is somebody would have a problem. You'd walk over, you take one look at their screen, and immediately know, oh, okay, well, that's where your problem was. You would you would be able to immediately spot it, and it's not necessarily because we. Knew anything more than 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 the student did, or than than the person that we were helping? It really was just simply that that fresh set of eyes. And one of the things that I'll frequently do if I'm having uh, a problem that I can't quite figure out is I'll just go for a walk. Yep. And I'll just yep. you know go get a, a a coffee. I'll go to lunch, and then I'll come back with kind of you know a fresh mind, a fresh set of eyes, and then usually I'm able to spot it just that much faster. So that 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 fresh mentality, that new set of really helps out quite a bit when you're trying to track down a problem. You know, it's funny. When I used to teach programming courses uh, and I would go around and a student had a mistake somewhere in their code and they couldn't find it, I would come over and, as you said, quite often I would find mm -hmm. the mistake very quick, quickly. I used to explain to the students, the reason I'm so good at finding mistakes in your code is because I've made so many. <laughs> so the more mistakes you find in your code and make, the better you're going to get at finding mistakes in your code. So don't stress it. But we have to start practice, right? We talked about how do you get to right. Carnegie Hall? You practice, 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 practice. So I'd like us to try practicing finding mistakes. Okay. So well, you're going to have to m make some mistakes. Oh, you've got mistakes. I, I have. I have some code here that would actually, every one of these lines of code has a mistake in it, Christopher. Do you want to take a shot at where the mistakes are? Well, you know, before I do that, I, I want to point something out there is I'm noticing color differences. Yeah. The colors aren't the way that they're supposed to be. So I'm noticing print hickory dickory dock, but that hickory dickory dock, it's all black. So it's looking to me like Visual Studio, if this was Visual Studio, yep. isn't picking that up as a string. So I'm going to say that you probably forgot the quotes there. Exactly. We should have some quotes around the string, and because we left those quotes out, it's confused. It thinks that's a command. So you're right. The colors can give you a hint. Yep. All right. Okay. How about the next line? You got one. I got one. All right. Well done to me. Um, and again, I'm noticing wrong colors. So I'm noticing it is red, but at the very end, uh, you know, then uh, small world um, is all in, uh, in black. And then towards the very end, that closing paren is uh, back in red again. So obviously, again, there's something that Visual Studio isn't quite picking up. And it's looking to me like you've got that single quote on it. Yes. So how do I fix it? Uh, well, you could do a few things. You could yeah. change double, double on, on either side. Yeah. You could uh, also do a backslash uh, single quote as well if you want to keep that. Now, in this case, I'd probably go with the double and then the, the single in there, but either way would actually work. Yeah, you could use a backslash as well. All right, two for two. All right, All keep right. going. 
Uh, and again, noticing the color is that closing paren is red, and that shouldn't be red. Yep. So now I know that it's not picking up the end of the string, and if we take a look, I've got a double at the beginning and a single at the end. Yes, so I've yep. accidentally mixed up double single quotes in a single string. And yep. this is, again, one of those reasons you want to get in the habit of always using one or the other, because if you mix them up, this is the kind of typing mistake you'd make so easily. E exactly, yeah, yeah. That, you know, kind of pick one thing and, and, and just it. go with it. Yeah, it's just going to make your life that much easier. All right, I have one more typing mistake for you to find. All right, all right, let's see it. Um, Oh, um, and, and uh, yeah, right at the very beginning there, uh, uh, last I checked, it was I-N-T. Yes, I actually, we go. and you know what? It's funny, the color coding still can help because yep. it didn't recognize it as a command. Exactly. So the text showed yeah. a different color. So let's see how you did. Sure enough, yes, well done. Woo All right, high fives. Four for four. All right, there we go. There go. Good man. All right. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, I get to keep my job. I could get to stay here for the rest of the day. Yes, exactly. All right, you're you're allowed Fantastic. to stay. It's okay. all good. Excellent. So now uh, that brings us to the end of the new syntax we're going to introduce inside this module. Mm -hmm. You now know how to display text on the screen. Said which we talked about. You can now uh, basically tell someone a story, you can tell someone a poem, you can give information about the capybara, and now everyone knows all about the capybara, <laughs> the South American, large South American rodent. Yep. So your challenge, should you choose to accept it is to write a program that will display the following poem on the screen. See, I was feeling creative. <laughs> there once was a movie star icon who preferred to sleep with the light on. They learned how to code a device that sure glowed and lit up the night using Python. Okay, we, we, we have our first limerick of the day. <laughs> Fantastic. So you want to, obviously this is text, it's going to appear over multiple lines. So yep. basically it's just practice. You're looking at this going, hopefully saying, I can do that. Well, that's the goal. Yep. Right? So now you can do this over multiple lines, uh, experiment if you want to try including some slashes and things just to try it out. Try it. Go ahead. Yep. Explore. Absolutely. If you get stuck, the uh, GitHub, when you download that zip file in there, you're going to find a folder called solutions. You'll actually find a suggested solution. But it is only a suggested solution because you could do solve this a lot of different ways. So if you come up with a solution and then you look at our solution afterwards and go, oh, I did it wrong because theirs code isn't the same as mine. No, no, no. Nope. That doesn't mean you did it wrong. What that means is you came up with a different way to solve the problem. And that's, again, score is a congrats. You are yep. a coder kind of moment. Exactly. So that's congratulations. It. You can now write a computer program that will actually share information with the user. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And, and you know, along those uh, lines, just kind of real quick, because we're getting kind of a lot of questions about, hey, well, you know, if we wanted to put together a variable. Aha. Ah. It's like, well, guess what's covered in the very next module? <laughs> you know, we are absolutely going to get into that. I'm also seeing things, you know, like um, uh, about this being easier than another language or about the lack of semicolons, you know, definitely yep. there. And, and the big thing, again, that we want to point out is the goal of this course is really to help you become a developer. So and get comfortable with it. Exactly, yeah. It's yeah. Not that scary. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you're going to notice here that we're not going to really get into like databases. We're not going to get into object-oriented because that's not the goal here. The goal here is to help you get your feet wet, to help you get into programming. There's going to be plenty of time to get in and start doing object-oriented programming. Yep. There's going to be plenty of time to get in and take a look at how to create web apps with Python. On. But today, tomorrow, it's really about, you know, let's, it, it, before we can run, let's walk. And yep. that's what today, tomorrow are all about, is just kind of those first steps into becoming a developer and inside of, uh, of Python. Absolutely. No, yep. you've got to start with the basics, and that's exactly. what we're going to cover here. Yep. So I think that takes it to the end of this module. Let's take yeah. a break, and we'll be back in another 10 minutes. Yeah, that, right. uh, that sounds perfect. All right, we will see, see you guys in, uh, in 10.